free from all the fear you know. It can be so. With endless possibilities that will take you far beyond. Universal power, like the sun, we will shine for you can be sure Good morning and welcome to CSL Denver. And please, I'm so happy you have chosen to join us this morning. And we will start our service as we usually do with Freddie Rodriguez um, playing God is my source. So stand and clap if you feel like it. God is my soul. 
Thank you, Freddie. Good morning, I'm Alice Nutter, a practitioner here at Center for Spiritual Living Denver, and I want to welcome you to our live broadcast. Thank you so much for being here. We are a loving, expansive, powerful, and prosperous community here in the heart of Capitol Hill and here on online this morning. Our primary concern is always for the well being, support, and growth of our community. And we are so grateful that you have chosen to join us today to watch our service. We plan on being here every week on our virtual platform so that we can encourage and uplift each other and stay connected. So one of our announcements is that next Sunday, March 29th at 10 a.m., we will be having a Q&A session on ways to support yourself and others in this time of change. And would love to have you email or send us a Facebook message with your questions. So you can send your questions to info at csldenver.org or message us on our Facebook page, Center for Spiritual Living Denver, uh, anytime this week. And we will take a look at your questions and we will work on answering them and talking about them next Sunday, March 29th at 10 a.m. So now I invite you to sit back and we're going to do our opening invocation. So um, just sit back in your chairs, wherever you are at home and just close your eyes. Sorry if that was loud. And just close your eyes and we are moving into that space and that place it is just we are turning our attention to it more right now right here knowing that spirit is with us always 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 and that as we go through this time of uh a, as they say a brave new world that we are together in this that spirit has our back that it knows the highest and every one of us I bless each person watching this service. I bless everybody on this planet and surround them with love and light. And if you bless Father, who's in the hospital currently, just knowing the highest good and perfect health for him. And so as we bless this service and we move into it, we know the, that each one of us will leave with a gift of something this morning, just knowing that we are in that spirit in that light and that and, and I'm so grateful. I am so grateful for this community. I am so grateful for Center for Spiritual Living Denver. <sighs> I am so grateful for everyone who has chosen this morning. And so from that place of deep gratitude, I release this into that one mind, that one heart. And I invite you to all say together, and so it is. Amen. Back to Freddie. Send my love over the mountains. I send my love over the sea. I send my love into the heavens. And it returns. I send my peace over the sea. I send my peace into the heavens. And it returns to me. I send my power. I 
I said, my love, into the heavens, and it returns to me. Thank you, Freddie. Our reading this morning. Our spirit is our essence, and it also tends to be the one thing we neglect the most. We have to make time every day to feed our spirit. When we take care of our spirit, we find the path to our authentic self and ultimately to living the life we were intended to live. True spiritual wellness is not about denying the body or ignoring other parts of your life. Spiritual wellness involves nurturing yourself on all levels of being. That includes taking care of your physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual needs. And from Teilhard de Chardin, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And from our founder, Dr. Ernest Holmes, I live in the faith that there is a presence and power greater than I am that nurtures and supports me in ways I could not even imagine. I know that this presence is all knowing and all power and is always right where I am. And so it is. And back ready.
Thank you, Freddie. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to CSL Denver, a place, a space, and a face of love. We are a community of spiritual seekers utilizing universal powers to empower and enrich in our lives and the lives of others. We want to thank you for being here and joining us today. So in keeping with our monthly theme uh, of the divine archetype of the feminine and honoring Women's History Month, today's topic is nurturing the spirit. Nurturing the spirit. Now, I would submit to you that we are now living in mythic times, a time of new beginnings and a time of self-reflection and a time of introspectiveness to, to really understand who and what we are, to look at ourselves in a new light. Now, as we look back over the past few weeks, we know that we are on the borderline of a brave new world a whole new way of existence, a whole new way of interacting and a whole new way of realizing the power and the creativity that is innate in us all. And it is only fitting that during this month of women's history that, that we utilize that aspect of the divine mother, that archetype of, of, of that energy, that persona that, that is a mixture of sage and, and magician and caregiver, that, that energy of the divine that nurtures and supports and guides, and in some cases, corrects our attitudes and behaviors so that we can fall in line with the harmony of universe. Now, as we look at the essence of nurturing, what does nurturing mean? Nurturing means the, the, the ability to support and to guide and to, to direct the attitudes, the habits, the behaviors of someone or something. And so how fitting is it now that that we are in a time where we need nurturing, where we are unsure of ourselves in a lot of cases, unsure of our environment and unsure of where our next step is going to take us. But I would like to submit to you that with this idea of the divine feminine, this nurturing of the soul, we are well prepared to navigate these waters. Now, John Maxwell, one of our leading experts on leadership, he said it like this, nurturing is that thing that transforms a person's life, that transforms a perfect life. And like now is the perfect time for us to transform because we're brand new. <laughs> we, we don't know where the next move is going to be. And true leadership comes from not only knowing what to do, but also when to do it. And as it said, God may not be there when you want, but he's always there right on time. So, so we can rest into that idea, into that atmosphere of knowing that Although things are not as we used to see them or not as they used to be, we can rest assured that the divine flow of the, of the most high God is flowing and being channeled in all things and all circumstances. Now, I'm sure most of you can look back over time and, and, and find a situation where you were unsure of yourself, where you didn't know what the next move should be, or, or, or quite frankly, you may have even been in trouble. 
And now I know those who, who know me, I always found myself growing up in some kind of predicament <laughs> that I needed some nurturing and some loving care, someone channeling that divine feminine energy of nurturing to get me through. Who was that person for you? Think about it. Who was that person for you? And what did they what did they impart? What did they give you? What kind of advice? Whether it's your mother, your grandmother, your aunt, it could even have been a male channeling their animus, their anima to, to, to help you through that process. And in most cases, there was this idea of staying calm, being patient. And, and, and as the little limerick goes, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. And that's where we are now. We're in this place where we have to start all over again. We have to begin to reimagine and rearticulate life as we know it. A world where support is provided and guidance is provided for that nurturing development of a new idea of who we are. Now, we are moving, we are moving into what is called the age of Aquarius, moving from that idea of an information age, because right now we, we got more information than we actually want probably in some cases. But we're moving into that intuitive age, that intuition age, where, where we are beginning to develop fine tuning of our body instrument to feel the vibrations and the frequencies of what time it is. And that time is unity. That time is oneness. That time is living in a life where we all support and help and sustain one another so that we can reach our true authentic self our true authentic self. The universe is calling us to do so. Now, if we, if we take a step back and look at life, life itself is a transformative and nurturing process. We look at, we look at the earth, how it transformed from a place of all kinds of gases and, and, and molten lava to this beautiful planet that we live on. We look at the transformation of a tadpole into a frog or a chrysalis into a butterfly or an embryo into a human being. Now, in all those cases, no matter how rough it may have seemed or how dangerous that position that that particular episode was taking forward, there was always a nurturing environment to support that life, to move it forward, to allow it to grow and develop and learn and be who they truly are. And I submit to you, that's where we are now. We're at that place where we are given this opportunity to remake ourselves and to remake our world to establish our connection with the divine, to allow ourselves to be channels of the divine, that divine feminine that nurtures in times like this and, and, and allows us to help one another and to be an example and a rock for others to lean on. Because we we'll all have our moments where it is not quite like we expect and we will be in a position of fear or fit position of, of, of not knowing. And like when our mothers or our grandmothers or whoever that divine feminine figure in your life was, came to us in some of those positions, they say, take this medicine, baby. And you hated that medicine. It had the worst taste, but you knew from experience that it worked. 
although it was a bitter pill to swallow, so to speak, the medicine worked. And so now we are being called to ask to swallow that pill that helps eliminate our pride, that helps eliminate our self-centeredness, that helps us to open our eyes and our hearts and our minds to the divine oneness and be nurtured and usher in a new way on earth, a new light. We are illuminary beings filled with light, love, and insight. And we are now being called forth to exhibit that, to be the best that we can be, to be a true shining knight and nitrous in this new world. So to do that, we must take time to to meditate and to pray and to contemplate. And we must also take time to, to eat right and exercise. And, and we have to begin to take care and nurture our whole being. That's physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We have to begin to cultivate these aspects of ourselves so that they integrate and support us wholeheartedly. So now, as we begin to surrender to this new frequency, as we begin to fine tune our instruments of the divine and, and pick up on this idea of nurturing ourselves and each other and our planet, we do so knowing that God is always present regardless of circumstances regardless of situations. And even in those moments where we think there is no light. I'm sure a lot of you, if not all of you are familiar with that poem called Footsteps, where a person is walking down the beach and, and they're looking back and saying, God, you know, I, I, I I thought you was always going to be with me. You said you were always going to be there. And I'm looking and there's only one set of footprints. And God says, yes, that's my footprints. Those were the times when I was carrying you through these difficult moments that you find yourself in. And so let us know that right now that that footstep supplies to us, that God is carrying us no matter how it looks. And so as we, as we give in, to that idea, if we have faith in that idea and continue to surrender with an open heart and an open mind, we will thrive. We will, we will blossom into that eloquent, elevated human being that we are that wants for our brother and sister what we want for ourselves. And so I'd like to close it with this statement from Ernest Holm that says, by expanding our understanding of the nature of God, we can see through those aspects of separation and difficulties and move into the full immersion of the oneness of God and to be nurtured by it and supported by it in all that we do. So let us remember that we are one community, there's one love, and there's one universal intelligence that supports us all. Let us pray. Dear Mother, Father, God, that supreme intelligence that allows us to come into our own at our own time, in our own way, and being nurtured by God to allow ourselves to realize the aspect of ourselves that is God itself. To realize that union, that connection, that oneness with all there is that allows us to move easily and effortlessly through any circumstances that we may face. And so I know right now that that we are being transformed, that, that our frequency and that our vibration is being tuned up and fine-tuned so that, so that
so that we are aware of the changes and that we are picking up the intuition and the subtle insights that are being sent by the divine. Knowing that we are nurtured by God and that we are nurtured by our environment and that even in times of need, there is always help. There's always those footprint moments where we are being carried, even though we can't see it in the moment. And so right now, I just give thanks. I give thanks for this opportunity to share with this community and, and to, to tap into the higher frequencies of the divine and to know that together we can conquer anything, to know that that as a one unit moving in time and space with grace of the divine, that we can elevate ourselves and our communities and our lives to a place that is beyond anything we can imagine in this present moment. And so I just hold that in my heart and mind and I release it into the law, knowing that it is done, that it is done well, and then it is done exceedingly pleasantly in the eyes of all that participate in this prayer. And I know that to be so. And so I just release and let it go. And so it is. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Freddie, do you want to do I am so blessed? We didn't have that on the list, but maybe that's a good thing to start with and then I'll do the operatory. Sure. Thank you. Give me one minute. Pause for station identification. <laughs> I'm so blessed to find my sheet music. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Talk about uh, acting on the fly. <laughs> thank you. Okay, um, now and usually in this time of, of during our service, we do our offertory. So um, we want to, we are always so grateful for everyone's support of CSL Denver, whether it's in time, treasure, or talent, and especially during this time of change. Whether this is your first time joining us or you are a returning community participant, we want to thank you for your continuing financial support of the important work we are striving to provide. Right now, there are three ways that you can support Center for Spiritual Living Denver with contributions. You can go to our website, www.csldenver.org, and there is a donate button in the lower right-hand corner. We have also just recently uh, created a text to give, and Robert is running that across the bottom of the screen so you can get that information there. Or you can mail your contribution to CSL Denver, P.O. Box 300416, Denver, Colorado, 80203. Again, that's P.O. Box 300416, Denver, Colorado, 80203. So now if you will join me in holding your offertory in your hand, and we will say our normal giving affirmation, this perfect gift is spirit and form. 
circulating and blessing all that it touches. Freely I give and joyously I receive. And so it is. Thank you, thank you so much. And now for Freddie to sing our closing, or um, a song, another song. If life has not been what you want, choose differently. Because today is a new beginning. Inside me is the key. Inside me there is spirit. Inside me there is love, inside me there is spirit and love. In my heart there is love, in my heart there is life, in my dreams there is promise. Now it all can take flight, inside me there is spirit. Inside me there is love, inside me there is spirit and love. Thank you once again, Freddie. Thank you once again. And, and thank everyone for joining us today. And, and we hope you come back and we hope you continue to support us. And, 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 and we're looking forward to, to that new day when we can meet in person and, 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 and carry this message forward. So again, uh, thanks. And we want to just remind everybody of the service next week will be a question and answer on during these difficult times. And, and so please send in your questions to info at csldenver.org and, and, and join us next week. And, and we look forward to it and have a wonderful day. Love, light, and insight. And so it is.
Have a wonderful Sunday. Yes. Have a, Take care. Have a great day. We love you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>